Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the next part of the uh, video to ha help noobs how to get past Anarchy Online. Once you create a character, I've made a uh, solitus female uh, adventurer. I've never actually played an adventure yet called Reedy One. Everything's really big is because I'm on the smallest revolution. I'm on the smallest resolution that you can be on right now. So every icon's big, and uh, normally the icon should be a lot smaller. First thing you do when you start up, you talk to Brandon Thorne. And you get to talk to him if you want. You can read through all this. It says ready. He gives you a level. I'm level 2 now. By talking to him, you're simply level 2. You could maybe... Ex I'll explain this skill system at level. The first thing, since I don't feel like explaining it right now, and we get to level 4, then do everything. He gives you a mission. The mission is... You could, you could first... Let's see. I should probably think how to explain everything. Well, this is Welcome to Anarchy Online here. There's nephew, as you can see, there's a number of uh, buttons. Keep pressing buttons by accident, the incorrect ones. Whereas you can press I, open up your inventory by talking to Brandon. He gives you a bunch of items. I'm going to be melee. Right clicking on a weapon or something equips it to you. As you can see, I put uh, this thing, shift clicking on something gives up the anything. I'm putting on a tiny sword, two tiny swords, into both of my hands. You click on it and then click on there if you want to get two. Not using that, not using two pistols. Going to use two. Uh, weapons instead. Uh, I'm going to put my healing there and uh, right click on a nano, the adventurer startup crystal, to get a nano. A medical healing quick heal. Quick heal gives me a bit of healing. I put that up in my hotbar. To be honest, I probably could take that away. I don't really need this. Is there any way to get rid of it? I don't really care. Just put it over here. Yeah, so I guess you'll see. I'll just keep pressing the wrong buttons by accident. I haven't played this in a while. So if you open up the missions window, it's the third button over here on the right side. You can find to find a beach lead. As you can see, you have to go search for the surrounding area for monsters in a specific order. You just click on the beach, beach lead. You accomplish the mission. Next part, an island reet. Got to find a surf lizard and then a shore snake. There, you're done the mission. And go talk to Brandon Thorne again. Um, yeah. I found all the creatures. Great. Yeah. I found all the creatures. You just gotta get through New Island. This is the ICC shuttle port. You crash on here because of an alien attack. Get some XP, get some money, get some stuff. Kind of useless stuff for now, but later on will be useful. And kill uh, everything in that order they just found it in. Q is attack. You know, everything here should die in one or two hits. One or two hits. As you can see, the island greet just said, Need money, please. Um, you can right-click to loot on remains. Right-click to loot those things. You probably should loot everything and auto-sell it later. Um, yeah. Wait, did I kill proper things? Or kill a beach lead? Oh, i got to kill beat first. You can see there's a boss over there. Well, it's not. It's a dyna boss. It's just a dynamically created boss. If you have the chat window up, you can see the things are talking in really weird ways. See, I just picked up a uh, leech. I just picked up the spine of a small beach lead. I'm going to go kill a reet now. Hopefully that guy... See, killer reet. You don't need to actually level to kill these basic things first. When I hit level four, I'll explain the skill system out to everyone. Uh, nothing on that one. Got to kill a surf lizard. Uh, surf lizard. There it is. Again, Q to attack. You get melee weapons. You have to be kind of close to them attacking to attack something. Range weapons can get really far distances depending on the gun being used. Get some nice items. Again, you can shift click whatever if you want to figure something out. Um, and a uh, short stink. Why, why, why am I not getting hurt here? Yeah, and a short stink. Give me a bit of XP. Get a helmet. Again, you can press I to open your inventory. Equip some of this stuff. Probably, though, got to level my stats first if I want to do it. But I'll hit level 4 before doing it, get more SMIP. my P. So how did it go? I killed one of these animals now. Well done. Now this belt I have here is something found. Not quite sure. Yeah, um, where can I find Mr. Stuckland? Yeah, now you got a belt. Um, there it is. The Black Mane's belt. You gotta give it to Mr. Stuckland. He's up way high up. And you gotta kill... No, you don't have to kill it. I'm just gonna kill a few things right now. To get level 3? Is it? Yeah, to get level 3. So you just take your monster parts. You should also collect the monster parts or uh, we'll get you some nice healings. They're on level 3 now. So uh, there's an icon here that brings up the skill thing. Um, 
There's a number of skills in this game. There's a skill system. Anyone can pretty much do anything. Uh, the abilities are probably your most important skills. They are... In, they impact everything else. Right now, at the beginning, you should just max every, all your abilities out. You can read uh, what they do. Pretty much, the our abilities make it so you can wear better armor and certain other items. They also slowly trickle down into other stats. Save changes. See, putting your skills up spends IP body. You want to level your body dev because that increases your HP. Nano pool increases your uh, nano pool. Adventuring, I'm an adventurer, so I probably need to spend. As you can see, green uh, things, green skills take up take less IP or less IP points. As you can see, I have much how much IP I have here to level, uh, and blue, dark blue ones take less, I mean take more to level, so you want to raise your higher, the you want to raise things that are green, don't raise things that are blue if you can help it, swimming, do not raise swimming or anything else usually here, body dev and nano pool are good to max, though nano pool, it just depends on how much nano you want, but body dev is always good because body dev is HP and HP everyone needs, I'm a one, I use the weapon one hand edge, so I need to level that, um, multi melee because I want to dual wield, do these weapons have fast attack? Let's see, I probably should have checked that first. Uh, these things have fast attack. Why didn't I, lo why didn't I, why wasn't I using fast attack this whole time? You, okay. I use fast attack, a, I could probably look it up. It's an, it's an attack that basically is just a free attack that you can use every 15 seconds or so. Just increases your damage overall. It would be misc weapons, you don't need to level anything up. Again, raise your weapon skills that you need to do. I am use rage weapons, so I don't need that. Speed, I use melee weapons, so I want to raise my melee initiative. I want to raise my dodges, dodge range, duck explosions, and evade close combat, and my nano resist, and most importantly, run speed, because run speed is really nice to have. Might as well max my nano initiative. You have a lot more nano. You have a lot more IP points right now than you can really need anything. Uh, trade and repair. This this stuff over here you really don't need except for comp literacy. Doesn't matter who you are. Comp literacy is kind of important. Nano and aiding, um, you really have to look it up. There are some classes that don't need every, but most classes need every single thing in uh, nano and aiding. Uh, these top six skills, they just increase your nano, these are just your nano skills. They govern what nanos you can use. You need higher level point. you need more points in each one to be able to use higher level nanos. Spine, don't need anything there, don't need anything either. You might as well, yeah, don't actually need that. Save your IP for later. There, I'm level 3. I'm going to go talk to Mr. Stuckland. As you can see, I'm sort of walking around now. I'll show a fast attack uh, while I'm here. You press, press N, I think. See, fast attack. It's like a free attack you get. Does some di extra damage. You get it. Let's see. What's the count cooldown? It seems to be uh, like 12 seconds for me. If you raise your fast attack, uh, or the faster weapons you get, the uh, quicker your fast attack... They can cool down will be. I got a bunch of items I can probably equip now. The garbage, they don't really do much, but more AC is good. So you can see they give you AC armor class. Armor class reduces the damage that you'll take. Put on a bunch of really crappy stuff. What you also can do is talk to Mr. Brandon Thorn, who you can trade P monster parts. So I used to drag. I'm, I'm, I keep dragging instead of click, click. Click over here, give him items, monster parts, and he gives you really great healing first aid kits and medical kits in return. You can ditch your old ones and put the... Ooh, I got a light bar, which uh, comes on my back and provides me with light. Uh, don't really need that. Let's see, put this over here. And nano. Uh, the thing over here, the two, the top left, and this one, the treatment lab, and the basic nano recharger, you need to sit down and use. Like, to be able to use. You need to right click and then sit. Or at least I think it's like that. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be sitting to be able to use them. Yeah. Thought they changed something. Turns out they didn't. Let's see. I'm going to quickly run to Mr. Stuckland. You just follow the path that I'm going through. Gonna close my inventory. Yeah, you just right click on the the first aid kits. You can use those in battle. You can't use the treatment lab and the nano and the nano recharger in battle, but the first aid in the stim pack, yeah. Just keep running. Uh yeah. 
The reason we're doing this is to get a new belt. Belts are this isn't just a normal belt. This is a and this is a computer belt. It holds nano chips and other useful thingies that increase some other things that you need, but you need completers to equip it. We're giving a really broken down one to brand Mr. Stuckland. He'll repair it up for us and uh, give us back a better one. There he is. This is the place you can do a lot of stuff here. You can join Omnitech. You can go neutral. You can join the clans here. Here's a... Uh, wait, that's the, that's the neutral guy. Here. Mr. Antonio Stuckland. Give him item. No. Click on the wrong thing. Planet map. Give him the broken down belt. And that's how you free the first two quests. You uh, can click on the shop icon here and uh, just auto sell everything you don't need. And uh, that's the video right now. I uh, hope you watch part two when it comes.